And we are back on Monday. The University of Toledo removed the interim tag from Matt Campbell's title and made the 32-year-old former offensive coordinator the 26th head football coach in school history. There you go, Potts. Hit me right back here real quick. Ooh, okay. Campbell's an Ohio native and recruited many of the players that currently star for the Rockets. Next week, the team will leave for Washington, D.C., where on December 28th, they'll play for the Air Force in the Military Bowl. But before they embark on that journey, Campbell stops by to talk to the recap as we go one-on-one. -on -one. Coach Campbell, thanks for coming in, and I really appreciate it. Let's, uh, let's talk about Coach Matt Campbell. Introduce yourself to Toledo right now. What, uh, you're, you're from Ohio, from Canton. We talked a little bit in the commercial break, but uh, tell me about yourself a little bit. Well, you know, I've been so fortunate. I, I grew up in northeast Ohio from the Canton area. I grew up with two great parents, educators, and uh, father who was a head high school football coach in the Maslin area, Maslin Jackson. And from there, I had the opportunity to go play at a great football tradition in Mountain Union College, which played for Coach Larry Karras, and it was a great tradition and then had the opportunity from there, got a graduate assistant job at that school down south and was there for two years and, and uh, left there and had a chance to go back to Mount Union as the offensive coordinator and, and what, a, what a tremendous experience it was for me. You know, played defense at Mount Union under Coach Karras and had the chance to come back and then coach the offense and, you know, what terrific experience, great offensive mind, but there really learned how to, how do you build a program, how do you, can, you know, consistently keep it at such a high level for so long and yeah, the lessons learned were invaluable and then the opportunity came to, to go back to that school down south and, and have a chance to coach our offensive line after Greg Stradal went down to LSU and uh, what a great mentor he was for me there and uh, very good experience and then once Coach Beckman got the job at Toledo had a chance to come up and, and be the offensive coordinator bring in a staff and have a chance to to really you know put some things together and build a program and I'll tell you that the last three years have been a, a tremendous experience under Coach Beckman and, and with these young men we get a chance to coach it's been awesome. Yeah you were in your late 20s when you got the offensive coordinator yeah. job at University of Toledo. You're the youngest coach in Division 1A or Bowl subdivision, whatever they call it uh, nowadays, football bowl subdivision. 32. You said in your press conference that, that it, it kind of bothers you that people throw that out there. Explain why. Well, I think, you know, no matter what step of the way, it's, it's, it's always been about age. And to me, age is, it, what I said in the press conference, age is, it's a number. And, and I think it's the experiences and the value of, of the places you've been and who you've learned from that prepare you for the opportunities at hand. And, you know, I, I think every step of the way, whether it be being the offensive coordinator at Toledo and now being the head football coach, I think that we, we've been able to handle those challenges and put the right people around us and, and succeed. And I think that's what it's about. I argued, too, and I said this in the press conference, I think age helps you. Yeah. Because you relate to the players so much. The players were thrilled that you're going to be their next head coach. Not because you're an easy head coach, but because it, you're so accomplished. Yeah. And you recruited a lot of these kids. And you've known these kids since they were 16, 17-year-old high school guys. And now many of them are juniors and seniors. Well, I think in anything in life, relationships are so important. And I think that I've had the great opportunity to recruit so many of these guys and be in their homes and be a part of their families' lives for this, this long. And it's been a tremendous opportunity that way. And, you know, I, I do. I, I think I said one of the most important things is in today's world and in, in dealing with young men is you have to have to, the ability to put yourself in their shoes sometimes and I think be able to relate to them and I think a, a great coach Trestle quote that he says is is that that kids don't care how much you know until they know how much you care and and that's so important in, in our in our job and our line of business and I think whether it's myself or whoever else that will be on our football staff that 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 motto has got to be at the forefront of what we do your offense has been so explosive over the last three years uh, you, you had a stretch where you scored over 60 points in, in two straight games against very good competition. Will you continue to call the offensive plays? Will you hire an offensive coordinator? Or how is that going to shape up? Because that, that's that been your strength, and that was one reason Michael Bryan hired you so quickly. Yeah. This, guy is a, this guy is a stud offensively. Well, I think that, that one of the great things for us as an offensive staff, it's, it's certainly not a Matt Campbell deal. It's, it's, it's been we've had tremendous players. We have players that play really, really hard for us. Uh, we have a great offensive staff. Um, one of the nice things that I think I'm fortunate to have is to work with such great coaches on our offensive staff. And I said this, it's not a dictatorship on offense. It never has been. It's been, a, it's been an equal opportunity deal for all of our coaches. And I think we've all blended really well together. And I think the strength of what we've done offensively is that we've had great continuity on our staff and we've had great, it's been one voice, you know, but it's a lot of people speaking the same message. And so I think first and foremost, we're, we're fortunate to keep that continuity going on offense. As for me calling the plays, 
or, or he being heavily involved, absolutely I'll still be involved in the offense, calling the plays and, or maybe being the, the last line of call. I think we'll have to ex experiment with that as we go here throughout the next couple of weeks. But uh, definitely, we've got a great staff, and I look forward to working with those guys. Yeah, you're going to hire some more people for your coaching staff, or you know, depending on who Coach Beckman takes to Illinois? And yeah, I think that's all going to sort itself out here in the next couple of weeks. And, and uh, you know, obviously, Coach Beckman did such a great job here, and I know that our staff members, you know, are, are respect the heck mm -hmm. out of them. And so I think if, if, a, if one of those guys has an opportunity to go and decides to go, then, you know, that, that always, I think that always adds to a program. You get to bring in a new voice, a fresh voice, and somebody that believes in what you believe in, and, and, and uh, will always do what's best for our young men. How nice is it to have players like Eric Page? <laughs> well, Eric Page, I mean, I, I, I said this, and I mean this about Eric Page. I think one of the greatest things you can say about a young man like Eric Page is when one of your best players is the hardest worker, then you've got a chance to be special as a football team. And that's, that's one thing I'll tell you about Eric Page. I think if you come and you come to our practices and you watch him practice, what you see on Saturday afternoons or Friday nights or Tuesday nights for that matter, what you see when the game, the game lights come on, you can see that on a Monday, a Tuesday, a Wednesday, or a Thursday practice. And that, that says all you need to know about a young man like Eric Page. The two-quarterback system is one that gets a lot of, you know, you, you just, a lot of people say, well, if you have two quarterbacks, you don't have one quarterback. Right. But you guys have proven uh, this year, and even last year, too, that it works. And that's something you plan to continue as well? Well, I think, yeah. I think what we said is, is we try to make sure that our young men know exactly where they stand in our program. And if we feel that they're at a, at a point where they're ready to play and be on the football field, then we're going to give those young men the opportunity to, to do so. And I think one of the great things about those two guys is, is both, both Austin and Terrence, I mean, both of those guys have, from last spring to fall camp to throughout the season, they have competed at such a high level that both of those guys have earned the right to be on the football field. And for us, it's been magnetic. And, and it's, it's made our football team better because those two, the way they go out and compete on a day-to-day -day basis, it's raised the bar for everybody else that's on the field. And so we couldn't be more proud of what those two have done. Last question. Take me back to when you got the call from Mike O'Brien. Uh, where were you? How did it happen? And were you, you thinking, okay, I got this job. They're going to promote me. Or were you just going, okay, maybe I'm going to go to Illinois with Coach Beckman? Because I know he offered you a job over there. I mean, that's pretty, everybody kind of knows that's out there. Well, I, I, as a matter of fact, I was over in the Chicago area recruiting that day. and For, and, for Toledo or for Illinois? Oh, uh, for the Rockets. <laughs> and and uh, had an opportunity to be over there. And, and as soon as he called, I mean, it, it was a no-brainer for me. It, it's been a dream of a lifetime for me to have this opportunity. And, and more than anything, I, I'm just honored to be a part of, of these young men on our football team and, and again, our great staff. And it, it's, it's a joy of a lifetime. So I look forward to the challenge, and, and it's a great opportunity for ourselves. Well, I have a feeling you're going to be very successful. We're looking forward to it. Well, I appreciate it.